For the cyclic value, first you must ensure your blades are at zero degrees when you have the helicopter set so that the blades are directly in front of the helicopter. So if you look at mine, the blades are going directly down the center of the helicopter and your pitch gauge should read zero. You click cyclic value. You now want to adjust this number until you get a value of 8 degrees on your pitch gauge. This is extremely important for the V-Bar to know the roll rates uh, to expect and to set up the swash plate for its uh, cyclic inputs. Once that's set, hit next. Now you're going to choose your tail servo. The first thing you must do is look up to figure out exactly what your manufacturer specifies for the frequency of your tail servo. Um, if you notice that your tail servo doesn't work, it's probably because you have not selected a tail servo rate. So go into here, choose the proper input. Uh, 50 hertz is typically an analog servo. Um, 333 hertz and 250 hertz are typically digital servos. And then your centering pole, so 1500, 760, or 1520, uh, depend on the servo that is used. The higher and digital Brussels servos typically are 760, where the, uh, your coreless servos are typically running 1500 centering poles. Once you've selected the proper uh, parameter here, you must now ensure that your servo is operating in the correct direction. To do this, remember, if your helicopter is, if your tail rotor spins to the rear, you want your pitch slider to operate in the opposite direction of your stick input. So if I move my rudder to the left, the tail pitch slider goes to the right. If I move to the right, it goes to the left. This is not for all helicopters. Make sure that you are correctly compensating for your helicopter. Uh, finally, you have to set your limits. In order to do this, you're going to click. You go all the way to the left or the right. You want to move just until you hear that servo buzz, and then adjust down until it goes away. So right there is about perfect for me. Now slide all the way to the right and increase until you hear the buzz and back off until it goes away. So for me, those are my parameters. If you get a slight amount of servo buzz after you've set it, that's okay as long as it's not um, really stressing the servo or the high pitched buzz. And now we hit next. The last step is to choose the external governor or the V-bar governor. There, um, for the V-bar governor, I'll go through a quick setup here. Uh, the detailed setup for the V-bar governor, there uh, we have ultimate videos for. First thing, of course, the sensor config, which is half of the pole count of your motor. This can be determined by your manufacturer. I'm using a 10 pole motor, so that number is five. The gear ratio is nothing more than your main gear divided by your uh, motor pinion. So mine's 131 tooth main gear and 11 tooth pinion. That's the ratio I get. The run up limit is the speed at which your soft start will happen when you turn the helicopter on. And the minimum throttle is the absolute lowest throttle percentage that the V-bar will send to your ESC while it is using the governor. And that's it.